Welcome once again to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we're looking at this time is the Fujiwara FKM04 uh, stainless boning knife, the 145 millimeter. And so the construction of this knife is monosteel, so it's all one steel material. There's no cladding, no layers or anything. So that, that steel is what's known as OS 8 or 8A. This could be 8A, but our EO is 8. It's a full stainless steel. It's pretty fine grain. It's easy to sharpen. It holds uh, a decent edge, and it takes a nice edge. And this steel is, is this, this whole line of knives is really popular in professional kitchens, so it's a great knife that can take a little bit of abuse with the 58 to 59 Rockwell hardness. You got a little bit of forgiveness there, uh, but it's also great for home use too. So these, these things are really good workhorse knives. That lower heat treat rating is especially helpful on a boning knife where you're going to touch some bone and do some things that might be a little bit more robust than, you know, standard type knives. So um, the style of this knife is also known as a Haneske. It is a Japanese poultry boning knife and they call this a modified NSK style grind. It's basically flat on the left side of the blade, and so this is a right-hander style of knife, not for a lefty like me. But uh, the right side of the blade has a kind of a convex grind where it fairly heavily comes down off the blade face and then down into the ed towards the edge, and you can kind of see that with the the reflections. So it's not quite as hard of an edge or as much of a like a traditional blade road as you'll see on some. Nesca style knives. It's not a double bevel. It's definitely a you know right hand oriented. I'm not going to call it a full on single bevel, but that's the style. So you've got a thin kind of skinny tip there that's still robust to get you in tight spots like uh, cutting through joints on poultry, and then you've got a a stiff blade overall that's uh, made for precision. So it gives you a lot of confidence when making cuts and processing poultry. That's the main duty. A lot of people also use these for cleaning silver skin off. Uh, meat when they're processing proteins, uh, some other uses, maybe a little quick onboard work if you've got it handy. So they're pretty versatile. And uh, so let's take a look at the specs on this thing. So this is about 171 grams or 6.0 ounces on the weight. The edge length is right about 145, 146 millimeter or about five and three quarter inches from the tip to the back of the heel. The overall length about 10.4 inches. The spine thickness coming out of the bolster is about 2.8 millimeters, and then uh, we're pretty much just going to hold that. Let me get the camera to focus there. There we go. So we're going to pretty much just hold that, and then it thins up just a little bit as you get towards the tip, but it maintains a lot of stiffness. But that's what the style of this blade is all about. The um, blade height is about 38.5 millimeter at the heel. And then the handles, um, kind of just their standard uh, no frills, what's known as uh, black pack of wood. It's a stabilized wood product, so it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. And um, over time, this can shrink. And if that does happen, if you don't keep the handle oiled or, or stuff like that, it will tend to shrink just a little. And then the metal uh, full tang or the uh, rivets can stand proud a little bit. And if that's the case, some people either sand it down or they maybe soak the handle in mineral oil for a day or two and see if it kind of pumps back up, which sometimes it will do. So this one is not shrunk, so it's nice fit and finish all the way around. Here's a close-up look at the blade. So uh, you can see the kind of that shape to the convexing of the grind down towards the edge. And then here's the back side of the blade. So you've got some screened on kanji on the right side of the blade. And uh, you've got an edge bevel on the left side and on the right side. I'd say this one is maybe four, you know, five out of ten possibly. It wasn't super sharp out of the box, so it'll get a lot sharper if you put a nice edge on it. You um, might find that the spine on your um, version of this or your particular knife might be a little sharp on the edges. Sometimes they can be as well as the choil. Back here, if that's the case, you can take a little sandpaper or emery cloth strip to it and clean that up pretty quickly. It's just a few minute job and it may not even be an issue for you. So sometimes you'll, um, I guess let's cover the balance point. Let me back out a little bit. So there's your balance point. Handle on these is pretty full size handle, like a 210 Gyoto size handle. And that's nice when you got uh, 
poultry goo and stuff on your hands and it's a little slippery so you got a full size handle to get a good grip on there and that's another attribute of these style of knives so some people like to do a little bit of board work occasionally with these and if that's you here's what it looks like on the board you've got pretty good clearance there because of the angle of the blade itself the shape of the blade and it's got a nice smooth profile so you could do some light board work with this if you felt like doing that so it's just a nice high value option that's a durable addition to any pro kitchen or if you process a lot of poultry at home to save money over buying you know um, fully processed boneless skinless chicken breast for example over time that can sometimes be a benefit so anyway this is the Fujiwara FKM 0404 stainless boning slash Honeske 145 millimeter knife.